when you look about plan B's and plan C's, for example, when you go on a trip, um, the people who know me, often they call it heaven and hell ski tours because you know you're going to get a bit of heaven, you know you're going to guarantee to get some hell. And then you might get a bit more heaven, but you just might get, hopefully there's going to be a little bit of heaven interspersed within it. I tell people, I know where the beginning is and I know where the end is. What happens in the middle is really for us to discover. Of course, I have a certain amount of ideas of what I'm going to do and I put flexible, movable goals. When we did it in Iran, a six-day traverse of a, of a mountain uh, that nobody had ever done. We were the first people to do it. We were absolutely the first people to do it. We started at the beginning and we finished at this great big 5,700-metre volcano. At least we could see where we wanted to go, but how we were going to get there was a mystery. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the trips that I do, I know where I'm going, but the way we get there is an adventure. And that's why the people who come with me like it is because they know that I'm figuring it out as I go along with as much information as I can gather as I go.